Hello, Maria here from Creativity Hero channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made very simple copper pipe and acrylic LED desk lamp. Using these two materials, you can make any design you want. I chose this particular design because it is modern, industrial and so easy to make. Now let's get started. In my attic, I found a bunch of scrap pieces of copper pipe, some elbows and T fittings from the heating system installation. Also, I had a few acrylic rods that I bought a couple of years ago, but didn't have the opportunity to use them until today. So I decided to combine these two materials, put some LEDs inside and make a simple desk lamp. The plan is to make the entire base out of copper, with a combination of a few elbows and tip fittings, then place three acrylic rods vertically into the fittings and connect them on the top as well with a few more copper pieces. The lamp should look something like this. You can notice that the fittings are very loose. Their inner diameter is 15 mm and the acrylic rods have only 12 mm diameter. But for every problem there is a solution, so I'll show you what I did in a minute. Now I need to cut all the pieces to size. I don't have an appropriate cutting tool, but if you do, that's awesome. I began with a hacksaw and I must say it's pretty slow. So I decided to move on with my Dremel multi-tool. I attached the flex shaft with the appropriate cutting bit, then I put safety glasses and the mask on, so I could keep on cutting. This tool definitely made a huge difference. I was done in just a few minutes. But if you only have a hacksaw, that's just fine. Anyhow, I cut all the pieces to size, then I sanded the rough edges with sandpaper. Also, I made a small opening for the switch. Here are all the pieces cut to size, the switch, the DC power connector, the LEDs, ready to be assembled. Another thing I want to point out is that if you have tarnished copper pipe, you can clean that out with salt and vinegar. You can see how I did it in my DIY wine rack video, the link is in the description. In this video, I skipped this step. Previously, I mentioned that the fittings are too wide for the acrylic rods, so I came up with the idea to cut small pieces of copper pipe and glue them inside the fittings. This way, we are actually reducing the diameter of the fittings from 15 to 13 mm, which will create a much better fit for the rods which have 12 mm diameter. The next step is connecting all the parts together. I'll start with the small pieces that need to go inside the fittings. The fastest way to secure them is with hot glue. My new hot glue gun is an absolute game changer, I'll put a link to it in the video description. There you can also find links to all the tools and materials used in this project, so you can check them out. Now I'm going to prepare the LEDs. I cut three pieces of this LED strip on the predetermined cutting points. These pieces will go on the bottom of the lamp. I need to plan everything ahead because all the LEDs need to be connected to each other first and then to the switch and finally to the power connector. I cut a few pieces of positive and negative wire to the appropriate length and stripped off the insulation of their ends. Then I soldered them onto the LED strips appropriately. The most important step here is to insulate all solder pads and exposed wires with heat shrink tubing or electrical insulation tape because they will be placed inside the copper pipe. The copper is a conductor and if they touch each other it can cause a short circuit, so we want to avoid that. Next I'm going to secure the LEDs inside the elbows with hot glue. In fact, I'll connect all the parts of the lamp with hot glue. 
It is the easiest and fastest way to join all the parts together. The wires go in the same direction, so I can easily solder the first two LEDs onto the third one, which will be closest to the switch and the power connector. Onto the switch, I soldered two positive wires next to each other, because later I need to connect the switch to the power connector. I soldered the negative onto the 12V DC power connector and then I inserted the switch into place and pulled out the wires. One of the wires I soldered onto the connector. This was the trickiest part of the project, but I measured a hundred times and planned everything ahead, so I finished it anyway. I glued the switch and the connector into place and then I soldered the last negative wire from the connector to the negative pad of the LED and the last positive wire from the switch to the positive pad of the LED. For this project I am using 12V DC power adapter. Before securing the acrylic rods I inserted the plug into the connector and turned the switch on to check if the light works properly. Everything is great, so I can move on with the assembly. I glued the rods vertically above the light with hot glue and connected them on the top with more copper in order to get additional strength and finished look. And that's it, I'm done with this project. I think it turned out pretty cool. Thanks for watching, I hope you like this project. If you do, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and click the notifications bell to never miss another video. Also, if you have any suggestions and ideas for future projects that you wish to see on this channel, leave them in the comments down below. Bye and see you in the next one!